going? In this video we're going to take a look at Showbiz Blues and this is off Fleetwood Mac's Then Play On album. Okay, you're going to need to re-tune your guitar for this song. So you're going to tune the low E string down to D, the G string down to F sharp, the B string goes down to A, and the high E string goes down to D. Okay, so let's take a look at the intro lick. very haunting little melody. What we'll do is break it into the licks into three parts so it's a bit easier to work out. Okay so let's look at intro lick number one. So it's all on the high D string. So what you do is you pick the first note and then after you pick the second note that's the last time you pick it. So you go from the 4th fret to the 2nd fret, to the 4th fret, to the 7th, but you just pick. So there's a long note at the start, and then you just pick that note. Just pick once. Okay, so here's intro lick number two. So it's seventh fret, all the high D strings, seventh fret, ninth fret, seventh fret, ninth fret, then up to the twelfth, then ninth and seventh again. And then here's intro lick number three. So it's all on the high D string again. 4th fret, 2nd fret, 4th fret, 7th fret, 4th fret, 2nd fret. Don't forget your vibrato on the end. Okay, so this track's got this big rolling rhythm going all the way through it. So you want to start off with just sort of down, down, up, down, up strokes. And then once you've got used to that sort of rhythm, you've got to put this hammer on on, on the um, A string on the second fret. What you do is you just stroke down, and you do an up stroke, and then you try and catch this hammer on, on the A string. to get. But you've really got to try and emphasise that part there. Because if you don't, it's just going to sound like you're just strumming along. And uh, if you listen to Gary Moore's version, he's got a slightly different approach to the one that he does on the Blues for Greeny album. He sort of plays it a lot more aggressively, but you want to listen to both and try and find your own way of sort of playing it. So the main verse in this song there's a lot of different variations of. You have to listen to the recording and it's very loose. You're just gonna have to get the feel for it. But here's like the main sort of riffs that occur. So you've got this rhythm riff going on. And then we've got this line that follows the vocal melody. So it's all on the D string. So it's third fret, second fret, then over. A string, 3rd fret to the 2nd, then the low D string, 3rd fret, 2nd, open. Then you go back to the previous lick. And then the slide comes in. 
So you're sliding from the third fret up to the fifth. And then a variation on that is that they slide that it's a slide from the twelfth to the fifth at that point. So. Okay, so there's a solo in the middle of the song, this is before the big slide riff kicks in. So what you've got, if I take the slide off, is you have it across the 12th fret. You do four strums of that. And then all on the high D string, you've got 7th fret, 9th fret, 12th fret, 9th fret, 7th fret, and then 7th fret, 9, slide up from the 2nd to the 3rd, and then an open string. And then you repeat that again, so 7th fret, 9th fret, 12th fret, 9th, 7th. But this time you go seven, nine, and when you hit the third fret, you just slide up to the twelfth. Slide on. So in the middle of this song and on the outro, there's this big old slide riff. It's really good fun to play. strings, 12th, 10th fret, 12th, 10th, and 12th again, and then slide up from the 2nd to the 3rd, and then you repeat that again with 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 12, but on the 2nd time round you slide up to the 15th, so when you put it all together you've got... 